Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be looking at a viewer creation. This is by Moonbow. I'm going to link his channel below because he's building some awesome creations that I definitely think need some attention. Uh, he posted this in the Scrap Mechanic subreddit the other day, and I looked at it and I was like, you know, the thumbnail looked really cool, but I was like, does this thing work? And what is this? My, uh, my attention span's really short and I... Okay, that's what that is. Uh, he's got a whole little army base built around this whole creation. But anyways, I looked at the creation, I watched his video on it, and this thing flies. It it functions extremely well. And the really cool thing about it, and as soon as I figure out how to get up here... What does this do? Okay, that's the door. What is this contraption? Okay, that's the big gate. Um, hmm... Let's see. Oh, what is that? Wait, wait a minute. Okay, I see how he's, he's getting up to the top of the helipad. He's got a chair up here. All right. Anyways, the really cool thing about this whole creation is he's not using the suspension glitch to turn. He's got a system in here, and I'll pull up the spider web here in a minute. This thing is absolutely complex. It reminded me of my jet airliner in... I have a feeling this thing's even a little bit more insane for how tight of an area he's working with, but this thing looks close to like a one-to-one -one scale. It's absolutely awesome. He's using the wood blocks, so fairly lightweight. It's just, it's got a really cool feel. This is one of the first times I've seen a helicopter done like this, just with the way he's done the rotors, and everything seems to function. Of course, Scrap Mechanic doesn't have any sort of like real flight model. Everything's based off of the thrusters. Like the if the propellers spin, it's not it's not affecting anything, but it's just really cool how he's done all this. And let's climb up in here. I think best way to do this, let's use the lift. But I mean it's insanely detailed and I wanna kinda mess around with this thing for myself because like it's extremely cool. Just look at the inside here. The cockpit, everything's just it's awesome looking. Like this is something that would take me a long time. And he said this only took him right around a day, and that's that's pretty surprising for how well it functions. Uh, there's a lot of buttons in here. As you can see, there's a lot of thrusters back here. He's got an area for the crew. The thrusters, he's got them hidden, so you, I mean, you can see them when they go off, but he's just got them in certain spots. He knows what he's doing here to create the lift. He's got a massive control scheme, which I am almost 100% sure I'm going to screw up several times, but we'll uh, we'll give it our best shot here. He's got a cargo door back here. You can even load up. He's got a Jeep, and I'm going to try it later. You can load it up into the helicopter, and it, he can fly around with it. It's real cool. He's got a locking mechanism here in the back that locks the Jeep down. That way it doesn't bounce around. And as far as I can tell in his video, it didn't really cause any lag. Now, I don't know what his system specs are. You could have just a ridiculously beefy system. I'm not sure. Uh, those buttons, I watched him hit those. I think those actually take the covers off the rotors. I don't know if there's really a advantage or disadvantage to having those up, but let's see. Oh, oh, got stuck here. Uh, let me try to. Yeah, I needed to pull this up. This is insane. That yeah, that would be a that would test my patience a lot. But he he's done a. It's actually a really fantastic looking. Like everything's centralized in the the front which I wish I would have done that a little bit more with my uh, jet airliner. I kind of had it all over the place, but he's got everything up here in the front. I, I can only imagine the pain that he went through trying to connect everything up in the front, trying to get like, just on the right circles. But yeah, that's that there deserves a round of applause. But yeah, let's start this thing up. The uh, first key closes the doors. Second and third key start up the rotors, and he's got the thrusters on the inside. I wrote down some of his instructions here. Uh, he uh, sent me kind of like a little, almost, I wouldn't say it's a manual, but he had to write a whole paragraph to kind of tell me how to control this thing. Uh, let's see, hit the, I believe this was the nine key. There we go, we're creating a little bit of lift. Oh, I've got the cargo door open. There we go. All right, I warn you, I if you've watched any of my videos where I've flown uh, the Iron Man, my jet airliner, I'm not a really good flyer, but... I'm going to try to do this thing some sort of justice because it is awesome. I mean, you can already see this thing's lifting. Looks real. Okay, the six key makes it go forward. I know the A and the D key, they turn it. You can see the wheels turning, but it's also 
kind of turning. It's I think it's activating some of the thrusters on the side to get it to tilt and turn. And wow, you can actually, you know, I really wish Scrap Mechanics Glass was a little bit clearer. Uh, it would be fun to be able to pilot this thing from the inside because the outside, it's absolutely hard to control that camera because it just doesn't zoom out far enough when you have these huge creations and, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna kill myself here. Come on, turn. No, 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 go race. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> It's going to take a little bit for me to get used to. Let's go ahead and reset this thing. Yes. Okay. From what I've gathered here, uh, it took me a couple times to learn really how to get this thing moving correct. Um, I get confused with the button. Sometimes I'll click the wrong button. I'll turn off like the wrong thruster and it'll slam me into the ground. But I feel like I'm getting used to it now. Uh, this thing's just cool looking. I mean, it just... It's got that fill, it's tilted forward, I mean, it really looks like it's working, and just the whole fact that he's got this to work with, scrap mechanics, like wonky aerodynamic, or well, lack of aerodynamics, but he's got something really cool here. I'm going to try to turn, you know, I would like to land this thing, uh, uh, let's see if I can kind of turn it. I've been messing around with the Jeep a little bit, and I'll show you how to load it up here in a second. I just wanted to make sure, like, I could load it up. Uh, it's a pretty tight squeeze in the back. That looks like a pretty empty area. We might be able to land over here. Okay, to land, I think what we're going to do, and they're going to press the 9 key. It's going to turn off the really powerful thrusters, and it's going to start lowering, and I'm going to spam the, I think it's between the 4 and the 5 key. He's got like some thrusters in the front and the back to kind of tilt the uh, the nose up and down. So I'm going to kind of spam those and see if I can just lower us to the ground. And I'm going to hit some trees here. I need to avoid those. Or this is going to be very, very messy. Let's see. Uh, it looks a little clearer right there. Maybe we should try to ease over this way. This thing's got some massive acceleration. If you hit the 6 key, it, uh, I guess there's some thrusters that aim right out the back. And it just it pushes it forward. Uh, let's see. You know, this thing's really stable. I just now realized he's got a couple of buttons to help, like, stabilize it if you get tilted over, but this thing's insanely stable up in the air. And we're going to land here. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, no. Turn off the thrusters. Ah. Oh, that was close. That was a lot closer than I've ever gotten to landing, so let me... I wonder if I can tilt this back over. I don't think I can. Well, uh... Yeah... We're going to reset it. Let's go grab the Jeep. Uh, let's see. Alright, I got the cargo door down. I'm going to drive up here. This is a really tight fit. I've already tried this once, just to make sure I could do it. Uh, it's really snug in there. and the, He's got this locking mechanism. We'll look at it here in a second. It locks this Jeep down. and I'm just surprised Like when this whole vehicle lifts with this vehicle inside of it. it I don't know if they made improvements to the game, but it doesn't seem to affect the lag like there's no lag there's no like jumps it does a remarkably good job and I am having some issues here I see am I stuck on something no and like I say it's just really tight I'm gonna try to wiggle my way in here come on let's go gonna go forward in this camera let's try to do this from the inside there we go I can see what am I caught on oh here we go all right, I must have just been stuck on something. It's really hard to see because of the stupid camera. And let's crouch and get out of here real quick. Come on. There we go. All right, you click this button up here, and it locks in the vehicle. It pushes it forward. It gets it really secure. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, put the cargo door up. There we go. He's got a little walkway you can get around the Jeep, so he's, he's thought ahead. He's got this thing mapped out. Really cool. I looked at some pictures of the inside of these Chinooks, and they're uh, he's got it pretty close. It's awesome. All right, let's fire it back up. I'm gonna take off, fly around a little bit. I want to land and deploy the Jeep. Uh, you know, maybe I should have backed the Jeep in. Maybe that would have made more sense if you're if you're trying to deploy something really fast. You probably want to be able to just go forward and launch out of the out of the helicopter here. That kind of gives me a plan. That would be kind of cool to have somebody in here in the Jeep and just open the cargo door and have him drive out while we're in air. Too bad Scrap Mechanic didn't have any sort of parachutes. That'd be that'd be awesome. But yeah, as you can see, uh, I slowly lift it up here and try to start going forward. It 
you can tell it is a little bit heavier, but it's still, once it gets going, goes up just fine. Everything's good to go here. And geez, I really wish I could have created this. Like, just looking at it, it's just... Like, not only does it function, it just looks cool. I mean, he's got a really cool... I'm gonna... With a lot of these viewer creations, like, I kind of pull them apart and look at them and see what they're doing. And I'm gonna look at this really close and maybe... Maybe eventually I can figure out a, a cool helicopter. Maybe I can add something to the survival world. This is like one of those things. I really wish I could just import this helicopter over into my survival... Like, my apocalypse world. Because that would be just awesome to have this at one of the bases. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and fly around for a little bit. I'm going to find another place to land. It's really cool up here. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll go back to that same spot I was trying to land in while ago. I don't know. I just had fun. Like, this is one of those things I could probably play around with this vehicle for hours and just be entertained. And I really look forward to what he's going to come out with next. Uh, hopefully, I think he's doing my suggestion, uh, like I said think it'll be cool. Uh, that's one of those Ospreys, or Ospreys, whatever they call it. It's a, a double-bladed helicopter like the Chinook, except for the blades are out on each side, and the blades kind of tilt forward, and that's how it goes, uh, propels itself forward. So, I really look forward to seeing that in the game, and that looks like a fairly safe spot. Let's see, oh, that shadow looks awesome down there. It's just really cool. Like I said, I've seen some helicopters on this game, and, like, even just the way the rotors work. I mean, it just looks so accurate. Uh, not to say that other people haven't created some... There's been some really awesome helicopters in Scrap Mechanic, but this is one that really stood out to me. Um, let's start to lower here. Like I said, I'm spamming the 4 and the 5 key, actually. I thought it, I might have said 3 key a while ago, and that's probably what screwed me up. I think the 3 key's got, uh... I think it's one of the other thrusters that pushes you up. Okay, let's spam those. Try to lower it here. Uh, this camera is kind of bugging me. I have a feeling there's a tree back here, isn't there? Come on. Go forward. No. No. No, oh, there's trees. Trees. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to end well. Hey, look. Up. Oh, Up. Oh, Up. Oh, there we go. I'm going to land this thing. I just need to learn how to control it better. Let's turn it off. Let's go put it back on the lift. Jeez. I think this is going to be a good area to land. Last time, actually, the first time I tried landing this, I almost made it. I left the thrusters on and it took off to the side, but I think we can do it this time. Got to spam the 4 and 5 key here to try to keep it from hopefully not hitting the ground too hard. Ooh, that was a that was a little rough, but I'll take that. That's that's a landing. I'm on all four or actually I guess this is six wheels. We're all we're all on six wheels. We're good. Shut it down. Let's go grab that Jeep real quick. Let's see. Go ahead and hop into it. Probably should have went around the other side, but... Ah, screw it. We'll get over to it. Come on. There we go. This camera. Man, this camera sometimes really is just tricky. There we go. Let's drive out of this. And how did I forget that? Somehow I forgot to lower the uh, cargo door here. Let's see, hit that here. But yeah, this is a very cool build. Like I said, I'm going to link his channel below. If you'd like to check it out, tell him I sent you. He's going to be doing a couple more builds. I uh, suggested a build for him to do, so I probably will feature that one on here too. Uh, he's working on that. It's going to be another helicopter design. Like I said, I'm going to look real close at how he's kind of got this thing working because I would eventually like to create my own helicopter to have in one of my worlds. Preferably the apocalypse world, but we'll see how or see if I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, speaking of, I'm working on that. It's taking a long time, but the series is doing really well. Uh, people really like the whole theme, so we're going to continue with that. I just got to work through a couple of things. Got another busy work week ahead, so I'll try to do what we can. I've got a, another game I'm going to show off tomorrow. And then I think we're going to cycle back around to a scrap mechanic, like one of my own things, and maybe even another viewer creation. I'll see what I can get out for the weekend. And like I said, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you'd like to like the video, subscribe, any and everything helps. And I should go ahead and address the whole fact that we're at 1,000 subs. Uh, no, 10,000 subs. Um, but I want to talk about that in another video. I didn't want to, like, shift focus away from this build. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys next time.
Thank you.